it's Susan over at the condo and I have a pumpkin patch to show you today. But before we get started, I want to show you what was my inspiration. I purchased this magazine in the grocery store. I think it was a grocery store, or drug store, somewhere like this. I've never bought this country home magazine. And um, I was looking through it and I came across this picture. right here of this buffet that has a pumpkin patch, lots of pumpkins on it, and the pumpkins are coming out of a um, olive bucket. So I said, oh, that's really cute. I wonder if I could do that. So I try. My intention when I started putting this together was to take you along with me as I did it. But I backed into this little corner, as you can see, and there wasn't much room. And I had to play with it for two or three days to get it just right. And what helped me get it right was I used these glue dots. Uh, I got these at Michael's. They're just little clear dots. Now, you can't even see it on my hand, but you can tell how sticky they are. And I use them to hold the pumpkins and things that are up here and these pumpkins together and that together. So I can't, didn't want to take it apart to redo it to show you. So anyway, we're going to look at it as it already is. So the first thing I used was the olive bucket. And then I put this big white pumpkin inside the bucket and I put these pumpkins around the bucket. That was the way that I started. And then with the glue, help of the glue dots, I stuck these pumpkins around it. And then I just shoved in the lamb's ear, as you can see, that's just shoved in there. I do have this pumpkin elevated on a pedestal. And I just put these little things, laid them in here. And I thought because this is such a high ceiling, I needed something going up. So I added this tobacco basket with this bow that I had left over from last year and put that there. And then this little sign I got from Kirkland's this year. And when I got it, I had it with in mind of using this little green truck that came from the Target Dollar Spot last year, put a little pumpkin in it. And then last year when we went to the Amish country, I bought this little scarecrow and he's made by a little Amish lady or an Amish somebody or another, they said. So I put him up there because, you know, every pumpkin patch needs a scarecrow. So that's pretty much how it came together. And I will take you down off the camera and kind of bring you in and, and show you a little bit closer on how I did it. But it was really simple. It just, it just took me a while uh, to kind of layer it and everything, but mostly, you know, it's just, I plug things in, and then when I liked it, I slapped a glue dot so it would stay. So now I'll take you off the camera and you can see it close. Here's a picture of it when you're looking at it straight on. And now we're gonna come in and I'm gonna show you how I have this pumpkin sitting up on top here. I don't know if you can even see the olive bucket because I've got so much stuff on it. But there you go. There's a good picture, a good clip of the olive but, uh, bucket. And then you can see how this goes up here. And I just set everything in and just made it look very thick and luscious. Like it was just so many pumpkins rolling out of that bucket. And I'll give you a little close up of the little scarecrow with no eyes or mouth or anything but he's really cute and that's the way it looks well i hope you like my little pumpkin patch and i'm so glad you stopped by to visit the pumpkin patch um i'm sorry i was not able to show you how i did it, but it was just a process of plugging and sticking the glue dots and just to the way to make it look the way I wanted it to look. And it was a lot of fun. I've never done one quite like this before. 
and I hope that maybe you'll try it at your house and see if you can do it. So thank you for stopping by, and I hope you have a great week, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye!